What's up everyone? In 2018, we took the archery industry by storm when we announced the first combined digital bow sight and laser rangefinder, the Zero A1 and A1i. Since then, we've heard from many archery enthusiasts that they're shooting more accurately and confidently than ever, thanks to this advanced technology. But here's the best part. We also receive feedback from customers like you on how we can take this great product to the next level of accuracy and ease of use. And that's exactly what we did. Let me introduce you to the Zero A1i Pro. And today we have Brandon Brinkman here to tell us all about it. Brandon, thanks again for being here. Last time you were here, you talked about the Zero X1i's uh, crossbow scope. What do you have for us today? Yeah, Mark, it's great to see you again. It's always fun to get here to Ground Zero and, and yeah. talk on some new products. But yeah, today we are talking about the A1i Pro. So this is the next room vision of what we launched back in 2018 with the A1 bow series. So really what this product does at its core, along all the A1 series do, is it takes really two key pieces or two key tools for any archer or hunter, your rangefinder and your bow sight. And it takes those and combines them into one tool that allows you to take a range and drops you a single aim pit and a clear housing um, to, to take that shot. So. Gotcha. So as the latest product in the series, we know it's kind of has some new features, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So yeah, there's really going to be two layers to this thing. So before we even get under the hood at all, there's a ton of physical changes that we've done to the mounting of this thing. So um, number one, we heard from a lot of people like, hey, I, you know, I want to use this on two different bows. I travel a lot. I want to be able to get this thing on and off my bow really quick. So to make that happen, um, there's two big things here going on. So there's this dovetail in the back where the simple set screw, you pop that thing off, as well as the trigger button used to be hardwired into the battery door. Now by simply just turning this thing, you can pull it off and you're good to go. So you can swap it between your bows, travel, do whatever you gotta do, so. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, the, the big physical change I'm really excited about uh, is we added in what's called micro adjust to this. So I don't know if you're familiar with micro adjust or setting up a bow sight or anything like that, but having micro adjust on any site just makes the overall process easier because it allows you to do is make really finite um, small movements without having to you know, dig your own wrench out, like hopefully hold the sight in the right spot, tighten it back down. You literally like just tiny little clicks allows you to make small adjustments. And as you're sighting it in, it helps you dial your arrows in really fast. Where it gets really helpful with this type of technology is uh, within the setup of this, we've got to do what's align called aligning the reticle. So the reticle makes sure that whatever you're looking at through your peep sight is the exact same thing that the sight is taking a range of. But to get that lined up is definitely a little bit tricky, but now the fact that you have these micro adjusts that make super small movements for you, getting through that part of the process is, is so much easier. Okay, so tell me more about the setup process. Yeah, Marcus, so it's, it's been a really fun evolution to see it happen out here at the testing grounds, actually with the team kind of just iterating. So we started off with the A1 series where to get through that setup, you really went through and kind of taught the bow every step of the way. So here's my 10 yard, here's my 20, here's my 30. And then with the X1i, which we're out here talking about recently, we really introduced kind of the first iteration of like, what is auto cow? And can we you know, start to be a little bit smarter about how we go about the setup process? And that's exactly what we did with the A1i Pro. Um, so within that setup process, it's really only a few steps. So okay. you enter a few you know, really basic data points. So you're, what's your draw length? What's your arrow speed? If you actually got a chronograph, you can go through and give the chronograph speed. Um, so once you get those simple data points, you walk through and you set your 20 yard pin. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you align that reticle that we talked about that way, you know exactly what you're taking the range of, and that is essentially the entire setup process. At wow. that point, based off those features or those um, pieces of data, the site's gonna give you um, your maximum distance range based off your arrow speed. So uh, for most setups, at least what I've seen, I'm getting uh, my base setup around 80, all the way out to 80 yards with this bow. Wow. So the really, really nice thing on top of that, right, is so you know, 90% of the time you're gonna end up shooting that one pin where you take the range, it drops your, your shot for you, or your single pin mm -hmm. shoot. Um, but also if you jump over to fixed pins, it's gonna give you each one of those 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way out to 80 yards or whatever your maximum distance is gotcha. based on your bow speed. So for me personally, like that literally cut my setup time in half. Wow, wow. What a crazy improvement. So, so what other improvements have we added to the site? Yeah, there's a, there's a handful I'll start to walk through. So um, one of those is what we call dynamic level. So with dynamic level, we're able to deliver um, leveling feedback right next to your shooting pin so that you never have to take your eye off of the target. You never have to look down to the bottom of your sight and come back up. Along with that, we've made it dynamic. So the site's smart enough to know like how long of a shot are you taking? And so say you're taking maybe a shorter shot, 10, 15 yards, it's gonna give you a little bit more grace. But if you're trying to stretch it out there to 60, 70, 80 yards, it's gonna force you to be a little bit more consistent, hold your bow a little bit more level, and just make sure you're sending that thing down as, as, as straight as you can. Gotcha, okay. So other new features that yeah, we yep. packed in here. Yeah, another big one for us is called um, Flight Apex. 
So again, um, right in that line of sight, rather than having to look away or try to guess, um, we deliver a, a basically a little flashing dot above your aiming pin that lets you know the very top point of your arrow flight. So if you're out shooting in brush, you don't have to worry about maybe catching a branch or something um, on the path to your target. Gotcha. But yeah, the, the last one I'm, I'm excited about, and this one really came out a little bit later in development, but we've been able to, to fine tune it and hash it out, and it's been a, a blast to shoot. So it's called XD mode. So XD stands for extra distance. So a lot of times in the off season or the summer, you'll get out and you'll try to stretch your distances out a little bit farther than what you sh would probably do in a real hunting application. So I'm talking 70, 80, 90, 100 plus yards just to get out, challenge yourself as an archer and try to get better. Um, some of the challenges that we ran into with the initial A1 series is you start to run out of room in your house and you just can't go any farther or like you might be able to do with like maybe a slider site. But what we're able to do here now that we have these micro adjusts is you physically drop that housing down to a lower position and now all of a sudden you've got a whole new brand, brand new set of pins that you can shoot and start to stretch that distance out to those 89 to 100 yard distances. Gotcha, gotcha, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, again, but the, the site, it sounds kind of complicated, but it's set up to help walk you through it. Essentially, you set what's called a, a base location and an XD location. You're either in one of those two spots, and if there's any overlapping ranges in there, you can shoot it from either, but if you're on the fringes, uh, like your shorter ranges, you'll have to be in your base mode. And if you're shooting farther distances, that's when you're going to need to be down in that XD mode or that XD position. This thing is packed full of new features. So what are some of the, the old features that we're carrying over? Yeah, so what you're going to find here is a lot of them that were in the A1i, the more advanced one of our initial launch, is going to be in this side as well. Um, the big hitters on that list are multiple LEDs. So if you happen to use fixed spins at all, that's going to help you differentiate those because you can get red, green, red, green, red, green. The next big one for me is what we call multiple arrow profiles. So if you're shooting lighter arrows, heavier arrows, if you're shooting broadheads out at farther distance, you'll get a little more drag and they'll drop. You're able to walk the whole setup process, which is now way easier, and teach, your, um, teach the site each one of those arrow profiles. So you can literally just go through the settings, switch it out, and you're good to go. You don't have to go through the manual resetup like you would on a standard site. So uh, the last one I want to touch on is what's called laser locate. So this is another one that was in the A1i series. And by pairing this thing over to a compatible Garmin device, you're able to um, take that range because we have a compass. So we know the, the uh, direction and the distance and send that over to your compatible Garmin device as a waypoint. So say you're in the stand and you need to go start finding your arrow, that thing will lead you straight there. Gotcha. This is so exciting. Anything else? I'm afraid to ask, like anything else you want to share about the, uh, the site? I think that's really all we've got for today. So okay. yeah, it's, it's been great. I'm excited to see you know, this product hit the market. As a, as a longtime user of Zero and kind of a, a development team member, it's been really fun to see what the team's been able to do with the site. I'm excited to see it hit the market. We are so excited to get this in customers' hands. Brandon, thank you so much for sharing with us today about the Zero A1i Pro. This is awesome. Uh, thank you, Marcus. Yeah.